this guy, uh, Justin Gaethje, I've never heard of him. Mm -hmm. He's cool. But I just watched his highlight thing. This guy might be my new favorite fighter. He's, He's one of the most guy. violent men this, in the uh, UFC. He and he was fighting this, uh, I don't know what the fighter, it's a, a black guy that was wearing blue and black shorts. I don't know what his name was. But they were, he kneed the guy in the head so hard that the guy like falls to the ground and is like stunned. And instead of jumping on him and doing like the savage attack, he just walks around the side and gives like a come hither finger <laughs> movement. Like, <laughs> Come on, like I. I oh, that's a Bruce Lee. You, you want to keep going? You want to keep? Did you going? watch like, a lot of Bruce? You ever? Did, did you? You a Bruce Lee fan? You watched any Bruce Lee? I'm movies? not a fan, but I have seen a movie or two back in that, the day. I like when they when when they pull some of that old. I love Bruce Lee. Yeah. I love the Bruce Lee movies. I, I've seen them all. I, I love them. Um, I like I, yeah, and fucking fucking throwing people around and stuff. And he'd do that crazy shit. He'd have like some bad guy just has scratched him with like literal Wolverine claws. He's like, Wah! and he. Dude, I, I love that shit. When I was nine years old, I thought the toughest people on the planet were like 125 pound gymnasts from Hong Kong. You know, like there's acrobats from Hong Kong flipping around and kicking the top of your head. We're clearly like the, the like they beat up Will Chamberlain. I saw it right on TV. You know that yeah. that must be turns and out Chuck Norris. Turns out the most badass people on the planet are these like wrestlers from the Midwest at the time. There's a part where Jack where um, Bruce Lee's fighting Bruce um, Bruce Lee is fighting Chuck Norris, and he rips out some of Chuck Norris's chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of his moves. It's great. <laughs> That's hilarious. That, that, Dude, that would that would hurt getting your chest hair. Oh, out. it'd be awful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you ever and, see? Um, okay. There's a movie about like an American guy going to become a Shaolin monk, and uh, and, and and that looked pretty legit because it was just so rigorous, like like the training, like carrying those bottles of water up steps for endlessly, and like I remember his finishing move when he finally had to fight the big bad guy was this three fingered reach, and he grabbed the guy right here. And he tore off like the top five layers of skin, <laughs> like just was... on a patch on his forehead. Yes, and the guy was just like, "Ow!" And when, he, <laughs> when he reacted, he like decked him. I thought and for I, sure but... he's gonna pull his heart out. No, I just remember thinking like, "Dalima, would... <laughs> Is that Indiana Jones? Yeah, it's yeah. Doom. Yeah, but I just remember thinking like, "That would really fucking hurt." Mm. Let me see if I can find that clip. It's so. Maybe it's sillier than what, what I'm remembering it, but as a <laughs> oh, kid, it sounds I remember being absolutely like, ridiculous. So I'm uh, saying it's a great hey, one. Hey, you don't you disrespect the Shaolin? Yeah, monks. no, the, the the real badass fighters were drunken masters. Can you can you become a Shaolin and... monk if you're white? It was very hard for him. Don't to do. seem racist otherwise. Well, I would feel like they'd be like, you'd show up and they'd be like, yeah, but uh, more specifically, we're not looking for someone like you. <laughs> What's someone more like, I don't know, like somebody who looked like everybody else here? I noticed that you're not 5'5 five five with brown hair, black eye, black eye, you know, black hair, brown eye, whatever there we it would go. be. I was like, brown hair? Mm. Ruined it. Fuck. <laughs>